Hey everybody, how's it going? Statman coming at you once again. And today we're going to talk about some things that I got from Best Buy. I think we'll talk about that first actually, yeah. Best Buy. And then after that, uh, for the next few videos, we'll talk about some other things that I got from some other places, eh? Hey? How about that? <laughs> uh... This is just the uh, videos that I'm doing right now because certain circumstances, one of them being that I still haven't received some of the packages that I ordered on Black Friday and I'm going to have to call them about that because it's getting ridiculous. Uh, and the other problem being that I'm moving this week, like the week that you're seeing this on, I am moving to a new location, which means that I won't... You know, I don't have time to uh, do a bunch of other stuff, so I'm just doing these videos to talk about the stuff that I have received. So, yeah, with that said, let's show you how I picked up here. Maggie from Best Buy for $5.99. Really been wanting to see this, uh, not just because of Arnold Schwarzenegger, obviously, but because it's a zombie movie, first of all. First of all. I really like zombie movies, and in particular, I like the idea that this could be more like a Walking Dead kind of a zombie movie where it's more heartfelt, it's more about, you know, the uh, people and less about the zombies, you know. it's It just seems like one of those movies that could be a lot more fun in that particular way, or at least a lot more interesting, uh, a lot more story-driven. So I'm hoping that is definitely the case, because if it's not, I'm going to be disappointed. They're definitely selling it as if that's the case. Um, yes, it's got Arnold, but I, I don't have a problem with that because I think he's a pretty damn good actor, and I'm glad that he's back in the film industry, glad he's back to making movies, because, uh, the movies that he's done so far, well, after entering into the, uh, film industry again, have just been freaking excellent, so yeah, very happy, uh, very happy I picked this up, can't wait to check it out, so, yeah. Five ninety nine on that one, and then I told you uh, during Black Friday, during all that madness, that there were a couple of titles that were in the five ninety nine section on the buy one get one free thing. So I went ahead and took that, uh, took advantage of that, and for five ninety nine total, which means about three bucks each, I picked up first of all Captain Phillips, which I have seen and I actually quite enjoyed. I didn't necessarily think it was like the greatest movie ever or that even it was a movie that I would watch a whole bunch. But it's definitely worth owning, I think, because I could see myself watching it again at some point. It's not a bad movie. It's quite entertaining, you know. So, um, yeah, very glad to have this for three bucks. Not a bad price at all. And then, then, I picked up a movie I have not yet seen. The Monuments Men here for three bucks as well. I haven't seen this, but I've heard so many good things. And when you've got George Clooney and you've got uh, Bill Murray and you've got John Goodman, and you've got so many well-known, notable actors in this movie. A lot of them notable comedic actors. Uh, it's just got to be a hoot and holler. You know, it's got to be fun. I, I'm imagining that it's going to be fun. And I've been told that I definitely need to check this out. So, what better way to check it out than by buying the freaking Blu-ray. And I got it for three freaking bucks. So, hell yeah. <laughs> and, uh, sadly, last but not least, the last thing that I received from Best Buy before all this crap started up was True Detective here. For $9.99, the first season of True Detective. I've heard so many good things about this show. I am a sucker for a detective story. And, uh, yeah, this looks like a really, really good one. I've heard that this is one of the best detective shows ever. You know, and 
I do like me my detective shows. I'm a huge fan of like X Files. I'm a huge fan of uh. Well, I can't actually. I I can't in good conscience say I'm a huge fan, but I am a fan of other television shows that deal with you know detective type stuff. Uh, I have watched a bunch of those shows in the past. I remember back in the day, I used to watch like Kamish and all that. So yeah, quite a good. Uh, Quite a good pickup here, I would think at least, especially when I got it for ten bucks. I mean, that was the selling point for me is I can check out an entire season of an HBO show, get the beautiful Blu-ray packaging here for ten bucks. Yeah, I'm gonna do that all day, every day of the week. So uh yeah, it has a nice little gatefold here, and then hold on. As you can see, it's a proper Blu-ray package for what is apparently a very good series. And yes, fairly sturdy packaging as well. Very glad about that. Not very glad about what happened to the rest of my stuff. Um, got lost in the mail. So yeah, if you're wondering why I'm saying and talking what well, I was talking about that earlier and being like oh, I haven't gotten it yet um it said it was delivered it was not delivered so yeah uh actually in particular this uh this one this order that I made had like 14 blu-rays and <laughs> a lot of blu-rays and um it was uh, it, it actually did not say, now that I remember, did not say that it had been delivered. It said that it had been handed off to the U.S. Postal Service. And the U.S. Postal Service said that they had uh, received the information, not that they had received the package, but they had received the information, uh, well, exactly a week ago today, I guess. Well, no, hold on. Let me actually think about the math here. Because it's like the 13th or something today. I don't know what today is. <laughs> but it's been about a week. Let's just say it's been about a week since they received the information. And it's been about a week since Best Buy said that they had given the package to U U.S. Postal Service. And I still have not received it. I've received a bunch of other packages from the U.S. Postal Service but not those packages, or not this particular package at least. And um, I'll talk about the other one in another video. <laughs> but suffice it to say that a lot of crap is getting lost in the mail right now for me, and I'm uh, so annoyed. It's especially annoying because on top of that, I'm moving in a week, so... All this stuff that I had sent to this address, I'm going to have to call them up because I'm not getting a response to my email that I sent them. I'm going to have to call them up and explain to them not only that my stuff was either stolen or lost in the mail, but also explain to them that when they send the new package, which they sure as hell better, that it needs to go to a different address. Like, that's going to be a lot of fucking fun. Not. So, yeah. That's what I'm uh, looking forward to in the next few days. And then, of course, I probably won't actually receive that gift. Or not, it's not a gift, it's a gift for myself. But I won't actually receive that fucking package until um, possibly the new year with the way things are during the holidays. I mean... It's going to be annoying, all right? It's just going to be annoying. I'm going to have, like, Black Friday stuff that I purchased on Black Friday that I'm going to be talking about probably in January on my channel. So, look forward to that, I guess. <sighs> like, on top of everything else. On top of having my credit card information stolen. On top of having all this crap to deal with and the move. I also lost two significant packages totaling at about $150 worth of items. Jesus fucking Christ. I can't, I can't escape it. I am just, I'm having the worst luck this year, I swear. <laughs> ah, but 
you know what? It could be worse. It could be so much worse. And I got so much of the stuff that I did order that I'm not going to really complain that much. I'm not going to be like, you know, I'm going to call them. I'm going to make sure that I get what I paid for. But I'm not going to sit here on the fucking camera and be like, like, yeah, it sucks. I'm going to have to wait a little bit, a little bit longer. But, you know, ultimately, like, we're talking about some fucking Blu-rays here. Oh, no. <laughs> it's it's not the worst thing that can happen to you. Like, in the grand scheme of things, comparatively, losing that money that got stolen from me was more annoying and more of a much more of a hassle and much more frustrating than what I'm dealing with now. But you know, it's just like insult to injury kind of thing, and that's what it feels like. So yeah. <sighs> That being said, that'll do it for today. Uh, <laughs> thanks for watching. Catch you later. Peace.